Aya. In today's course, we will learn how to use smaller Laura models to create characters from League of Legends. Laura, or low rank adaptation, is a model offering an effective and fast method of adapting large models to specific applications. To put it simply, thanks to small LoRa models, we can make changes in large models, which is extremely useful, especially when generating images. In the case of stable diffusion, LoRa allows adding details to images, introducing artistic styles, and even modifying characters. For example, LoRa can be used to enhance details in various works of art, from portraits to landscapes. LoRa models are extremely versatile and are an addition to our larger base models. They are the basis of working with stable diffusion. Thanks to them, we can not only improve the quality of our images, but also train a specific style, person, non-existent characters, and even specific clothing or objects. In the next course, I will also show you how to train such LoRa yourself. Step 1. In today's topic, we have characters from League of Legends in real life. We start. We take the pod in the cloud, which is already with our template from the link. We load the stable diffusion template on the RTX 3090 or TI card. When we have the pod connected, we connect to our 3000 and it will open our interface. We start our adventure from the cvite.ai.com page and then we download the LoRa. They will be Timo, Yasuo, Katarina, Ahri, Lux, Vi, Caitlin, Jinx. Another Laura that is worth downloading and adding every time we install on the pod is Neck for All for SDXL, Neck for All for Stable 1.5, Detail Tweaker for SDXL, and Butt Hands for SDXL. And most importantly, you have to check every time which base model the trained LoRa is on. Because LoRa for 1.5 and SDXL are not compatible with each other. That is why we will also need realistic models of both versions, because not all characters are on this better SDXL model. At this point, I would like to thank the creators of these LoRa. The links are in the description. We go back to Stable Diffusion and go to the cvite.ai.browser plus tab. We will download three models. It will be Realism Engine XL, and we also need a good realistic one for version 1.5, which will be Epic Photogasm. We also download our LoRa through Civitai Browser Plus or upload it to the Models Cuts LoRa folder in Jupyter Notebook. I display the exact path on the screen. We refresh the list of models and load Epic Photogasm because we will start with Timo. His LoRa is based on SD 1.5 and the prompt that activates it is Timo. We copy and start from the prompt. Timo likes to hide in the bushes and throw mushrooms. We are in the 1.5 model, so we reduce the resolution to 728. As I explained recently, this model is trained at a resolution of 512 and will not make us a larger resolution, but will dilute this diffusion, giving more Timo and other unwanted elements. We will also reduce the CFG to 4 to get more toned, realistic colors. Step 2 The next thing I want to show is a LoRa compatible with version 1.5. We will use the negative LoRa Neck for All version 3.5, which we will paste into negative prompts, and our LoRa Timo into positive. It is worth saying that the LoRa is one. This is too much for Timo. It may reflect too much of the database on which it was trained, and we want its image to be more elastic. We want it to resemble Timo, but with a little creativity from the prompts. Therefore, we will reduce the force to 0.8, and we will also reduce the negative prompt to 0.6.
If we use a lot of LoRa's in our projects and their total exceeds about 1.5, the image may start to lose quality and overwrite due to too much LoRa. This is a fairly common mistake, so it is worth remembering that the total weight of these add-ons should not be too large. We are ready. We can check what artificial intelligence will create for us. It is quite good, although we have Timo holding Timo. Step 3. Okay. We have quite little realism, so it is worth adding it to the prompts, especially at the beginning, because order matters. It is also worth adding a photo prompt. We will slightly reduce the force of the Timo Laura. Let's try 0 0.75. Okay, this way we have a little more realism, but we lose a little bit of the correct appearance of our hero. So let's go back to the compromise. 0 0.78 is the most realistic. And now it's time for the conspiracy theory. Why does Timo always have his eyes closed? Maybe Timo is actually a secret agent who uses his closed eyes to better focus on his mysterious plans to sabotage his opponents. Or maybe he just has eyes pain from the computer screen because he played too much LOL. Okay, I corrected a few prompts because our Timo should have his eyes closed. Working with AI in text to image mode, we relay on cherry picks. We set batch count for a few and then choose the best. And we have our favorite. However, we can also correct a few details, such as over-programmed fur or this strange leg, and it will be cool. Step 4. To do this, click on the palette under the selected graphic and go to Impaint. We paint unwanted elements. We check the parameters because we are correcting the details, so it can be only masked, but it will also work on the whole picture. The noising strength, 0 0.61, and we got something like this. Similarly, we can also remove something near his nose. To move from the right side to the left, you have to click on the palette again. We paint the whole picture, but only the marked fragment. We give quite a lot of strength and fly. Of course, you can also paint it with a similar color in paint to make it faster and then mark it. AI adjusts the color, then everything should go well right away. We have it. Step five. Now let's try Jinx. Its basic model is SDXL, which will significantly improve our quality. We will try something more abstract. So let's make it walking in the mountains. Why not? A healthy sport needs to promote good habits. We go back and load the Checkpoint Realism Engine XL. We change some of our prompts and of course, we remove the LoRa that is not compatible. We add Jinx Law and Neck for All in negative. We will also improve our hands, so we will add Bad Hands Law. And now we will modify the strength of these laws. Jinx, let's say, will have 0 0.46 because we care about realism. That is, more realistic model and less LoRa. Details will be 0 0.3, negative 0 0.2. We move on to generation. We need to fix resolution up 1024 for SDXL. The rest is fine. We can generate one test at the beginning. Ha! And we can be very surprised when we meet such a Jinx on the trail. Jinx, standing at the top of the mountain, says, I told Silco that I want to climb to the top, and geez, I landed in the mountains. Step six. It's cool. Basically, that's what we meant. Therefore, now. If we are satisfied with what we get, we can release more of them as standard. 
I set seed to minus one to be random and vio. This is Jinx in real life, so it may be a bit different from the original. There may be one war coke instead of two. These war cokes may also be shorter. In this convention, it is permissible. Okay, let's see what's there. Of course, various things can be improved. Difficult choice. All in all, they come out very well. Some elements can also be compared to the original. Paint over using stronger lore. Okay, so I chose this one because the tattoos came out quite nicely here. There is also a choker, which, of course, can still be painted over because it has a strange blue thing, but it's cool. We also have an emotional look that gives character. Of course, you can also paint her eyes pink when she was under the influence of Shimmer. I will also improve a few details, a hole on the belt and this binding on the chest. Finally, a curiosity. In the series RK, the name Vi as Violet can be interpreted as a symbolic way of referring to the colors of hair and the identity of the sisters Jinx and The Vi. color of Vi's hair is red. Their combination gives purple. In this way, we can make all the characters. The conclusion is that the SDXL model will work much better for our experiment which will deal better with details and realism. And you can see it right away in the different colors. A very cool experiment, if you like it. See you next time. If you like it, leave a thumbs up, subscribe. I invite you to Patreon, where I upload new courses on a regular basis. There are a lot of topics. Hey!